actors that you know, are just starting out and don't have an agent, um, just get on, get on your horse and ride. I mean, go for it, you know? Just get out there, get yourself an agent, get yourself a training, go for it, because we're here with open arms saying, yes, we're ready to take you in, we're ready to include you in our circle. You do your job, and I'll, I'll offer you know, my open arms for you. Uh, I just want to endorse everything she said. There are two actors, two kinds of actors in this world in film, real actors and celebrities. I don't, I'm not interested in celebrities. I'm interested in people who can really deliver. It's about the training. It is about the training. It is about the training. How, I don't know how many times or ways I can say that. Because if you, if you come in and you audition for, for Kathy, you, okay, so you they say, oh, something's going on here. I'm interested in this person. They're, that's not the end of it. There's something called a callback. Can you do it again? And I'll, that only happens if you're trained. You must have 24 hours, according to the Screen Actors Guild, that scene must be in your hand, can be in your hand, must be in your hands at least 24 hours ahead of time. You, in other words, I have a category, you have to make sure that it's in your that you have the possibility of picking up that scene 24 hours in advance. If you don't pick it up, you're a fool and work on it. Because if somebody asks me as an actor, to, oh, would you read this scene? I'd say, I'm sorry, I need time to prepare it. I'm not going to do an improv here. I'm a, I need time to prepare that work. So it must be available 24 hours in advance. Also, the Screen Actors Guild says you are not required to memorize the scene. If you don't, you're really a fool. Because if you're playing to a piece of paper, we don't see anything. The minute your eyes go away from the screen, you're off camera as far as I'm concerned. You have to tell them to read the script and to memorize it, but you also have to tell them to be ready in case they want to do it spontaneous. They want to add it. I've done two or three projects where they come in with a script and the director says, put it down and spontaneous. Just tell us. It doesn't have to be word for word. Just tell us so we can get a feel about how you feel in the moment you're in that scene, you are that person. The first time I spent with resume, maybe, maybe 15 or 20 seconds. And I'm looking for specific things. A lot of white on the page really helps as far as I'm concerned. But what, what is it about you that, what is it, what is it this is that tell, this reveals? How did this and this connect? I'm going to cast from remembering who you are. That's what the picture is for. Okay? So I'm never, I'm never going to cast anything for the picture. I may call you in because the picture and the resume interest me. That's what it is. That's what it's for. It's your business card. 